Good morning, everybody. August the 16th, a lovely, cool, foggy morning here. And I do mean lovely. We've had so much hot, muggy weather. The cool fog is a welcome thing. This morning, I'm sort of doing a big reveal, I guess. I'll get out of the way here in a second and show you what I'm revealing. I have been working since uh, early spring, uh, late April, early May, I guess I began, building myself a little cabin in the woods. I always wanted a little cabin in the woods, and I decided this one is going to be on my property. It's only my second ever construction project, so there's a lot of errors and mistakes involved here, but so far I'm pleased with the results. What follows is a about a three-minute quick little slideshow that shows the construction process from beginning to where we are right now. I won't take you inside yet. There isn't anything to show you. It's just stud walls inside. I will be uh, um, insulating and uh, putting on wall coverings and then I plan to buy a wood stove actually buying the wood stove later this week and put a chimney and there will either be a futon or a uh, small sofa bed or something so I can come out here and camp in my back garden <laughs> anyway uh, I will put a link down at the bottom of the video to the free uh, set of plans for this particular building if you're interested you can get them on the web they're free uh, and when you go to look at the plans anyway, you'll see that I, I've modified them somewhat. Uh, the set of plans has a porch on the front of it. Well, I incorporated that floor space into the cabin to make it a little bit bigger. I intend to put a small deck out in front of the cabin, um, either later this fall or, or in the spring. Money and time prevail there, I guess, whichever happens first. Anyway, what comes up now is a uh, little video showing the construction process. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, this is just a short little slide presentation of the construction project, which started in late April. I did get a fair amount done during the month of May, and then we had a month of rain in June, which really slowed things down. But the summer has been beautiful, so I've been able to do quite a bit of work in July and so far in August. As I've said many times before, I'm not a carpenter. This is only my second construction project. The first one was last year when I built the chicken coop. And I've always wanted to have a little cabin in the woods. Self-portraits there, or a few silly self-portraits as we go along here. So I decided the little cabin in the woods will be on my own property. Right now it's just the bare shell of the building that's ready to to show you the inside is just the stud walls. I have shingled the roof and I'm trying to develop some confidence in my shingling, but I would like to have a real heavy rainstorm before I insulate it. Uh, we've had several rain showers and there aren't any leaks, but I'd really like to see a, a good pouring down rain. And then I will insulate it. I'm thinking about putting a tonguing roof pine boards on the walls and the ceiling inside. I will be getting a wood stove. Actually, I'm going to buy the wood stove later this week and put a chimney in it. And that's the Mason Bee House that you've seen in several of my videos if you watch them. This, there is a loft and those are the floor joists for the loft and just a temporary board put up there. You could stand on it to put the rafters up. The original set of plans, uh, and I'll put a link down below so that you can go to them, I modified somewhat. The loft was meant to be a sleeping loft, and there was meant to be a window in the end with the door. Um, I didn't make the roof steep enough for that because there wasn't any way of putting a window in that would be uh, egress rated, a window that you could get out of in the event of a fire or whatever. And since it's going to be a a wood stove. I don't want to use that as a sleeping area up there, so I'm, I, uh, it's more of an attic space for storage. Next year, hopefully, I would like to try fooling around with some solar energy, solar power, and that would be a place to store the batteries for this solar power. Well, thank you for watching.